Even with the weight, you see the blue lights. You know, your third strike. Okay, tomorrow will be a better day. <laughs> Number one reason why you struggle with women or men. A lot of y'all think it's looks, money, status, sex. You know, just the typical normal things people think. And all those things do play a part. But that's not the number one reason. Remember, the number one reason why. You know what I mean? Not the only reason. The number one reason. It don't matter if you got looks. It don't matter if you got money. It don't matter if you got sex. It don't matter about none of that, really, at the end of the day. Because, simply because, well, it only matters in the eye of the beholder, the person you're presenting it to, if they feel like it matters to them, that's when it matters. You know, it should matter to yourself because you want to self-approve, but as far as presenting yourself to someone else, none of those things really matter as far as why you're struggling with women because the number one key is, or, or men, the number one key is they're not women who really want to fuck with you like that. You have, or men, you have a lot of people who are willing to fuck with you for the time being or to pass up time. Yeah, just the just time being or or this is all I can get right now type shit. Or whatever. I don't know. Everybody different. Everybody got different reasons why. Some people just, that's who they are. They just want to just fuck with people that way, not the long way. But either way, if it's not somebody that really, 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 really like you the best out of all the people, whatever, and they really, really, really want to be with one person, then you're going to struggle. I don't give a fuck who you are. You could be the tallest motherfucker in the world. You could be the prettiest woman in the world. All that shit that everybody claims is the reason why men are chosen, the money, the height, all that shit, why women are chosen, the ass, the, the, the good sex, all that throw that out the window if, if you're presenting that to the wrong person you see it's only going to work that shit only matters when it when you are presenting it to the right person a person that actually likes and wants that and appreciates that if that's not the case then it's like you're just chasing yourself in a circle man i've said this so many times before so if you are struggling with a woman or man understand that they probably just don't like you like that more than likely. Maybe they heard something. Who knows? I mean, you could throw that in there too, but at the end of the day, it's still the same as them not liking you. So, maybe a person like you, but they're emotionally unavailable. Same thing. Because they, they can't like you. So, it's the same thing. Whether they really like you or find interest in you or not, it's irrelevant because they're emotionally, they're emotionally unavailable. So, for a lot of y'all women come across men who like you but they not emotionally available to love you basically translation you know what I mean and that's where women struggle they can't decipher the difference oh the guy like me but why does he like you does he like you long term or does he just like you for this or that he might like you because of head or sex or money or you know companionship that don't mean he like you to love you though and I don't think people get that shit man and a lot of them look at themselves like, well, I got this going on. I'm a pretty woman. I got this and that going on, right? But, again, you're going to struggle still. E even if you're the finest woman in the world, you got the money, whatever. You could be a total package woman. If you are not presenting that product, you, not calling you product, but that's basically what it is if, in the sexual market, right? You're presenting that to someone who doesn't want to commit or doesn't really see you as the value that you are, it don't fucking matter. So you're going to struggle. If he doesn't, if he or she, 
If they don't want to commit to one person or they don't want to commit to you, it don't matter. You can be Superman and Wonder Woman. Perfect as fuck. Don't matter. So you're going to struggle. So if you're struggling, and understand, man, I say, I say it so many times. A person could like you, but that don't mean they like you for the reasons you like them. You know, a dude could like you because he, he want to smash. He think you look good. Some dudes don't even want a woman. They just want companionship from women. And sex and, and just, yeah, companionship, sex. That's it. So he might like you like, yeah, I think she's a cool person. She look good and all that. But that don't mean he going to like you the way you want to be liked. So you're going to struggle. All that height, oh, get to get your height. Uh, they, you got to be six foot nine and, and have all the money and the cars and all that, all that shit. A lot of y'all men thinking this is going to, this is the reason why you're struggling with women. Not completely true. Because you can have all that and if you're presenting that to the wrong type of women that don't like you, you're still going to struggle like you was broke on the couch at four foot five. You're still going to struggle. Because to that woman, that's what she sees you as. You could be a billionaire, but to that woman, she might not like you, so therefore you're still broke, basically, in her eyes. Or you're still ugly in her eyes. But take that the other way to a woman that actually likes you. You know, your your lease or or man, this could be the same way. If you a woman watching, it's the same thing. Vice versa, apply it, vice versa. You know, your lease is gonna be enough. So you ain't gotta be six foot nine. She's still going to think you a giant. She's still going to think you handsome. You might not even be the most handsome person in the world to most women. But to that woman you are. So basically, man, it's it's not a lie that, that like, if you get your money up and, and, and you got looks and all that. Like, some of y'all think, well, men get women because of looks. That's why they're getting all the women. You know, he getting all the women because of looks. You still could be a handsome dude. You know, I'm handsome. That don't mean every woman going to think I'm handsome, though. You could clearly see in this video that my face is a handsome face. Let's be honest. Let's not lie, man. And I'm not, like, trying to be funny or bragging or nothing, but I'm just saying. But guess what? There's other other men in the world that a woman might find handsome, more handsome. <laughs> you see that? There's levels to this shit. And that's what y'all not getting to. So even if you got all this, even if you got the money, you handsome, and you got good sex and all that, there's levels. And... Not only just the level part, but the part of who you're presenting it to as well. So even if you're a fine woman and you got this going on and that going on, there's levels. There's still other women that got, got, that got the same thing. And sometimes, in most cases, they might have better. Or they might not be better than you, but the person might think they're better than you in their eyes. So you still lose. Unless you present that shit to the right people. You gotta present yourself to the right person. There's no way around this, people. You could throw all that, I'm better than her out the window, I'm better than him out the window. You can throw that out the window. Why you think a woman will pick a bum over a guy that she could have had to, you know, he could be in a, he could be like a business dude that would take care of her and everything. She might like the guy, but she just like the, the bum better. She gonna pick that bum, bro. Or she might pick both. You know, different people do different shit. One thing that's not going to happen is you're not going to make a woman commit to you or like you. You can't do it. She has to want to do it. And even if you somehow convince them to do it, it's going to be all bad for you in the end. Because you already know what time it is. You're just there for whatever. The situation. Same thing with y'all women. If you're trying to convince a man to like you and all this, it's going to be bad for you. Because you already know men are going to act like they like you anyway to, to smash. Let, let's be honest. That's what women got to get through their heads, man. Now, I know, like, I think with women a lot of times, their biggest crutch is the guy I like the most, I'm picking. I don't give a fuck if I, if, what it is. I'm a picky. But they don't realize that if that guy don't like you back, you better off just picking the, the other guy that you might, you still like a lot. You just didn't like as much as that one. But this guy over here likes you more than, way more than this guy. You pick that one. That's like, why would I pick a so-called 10 over a 7 that it, let's say, I, why would I pick a 10 that really don't like me, right? She really don't like me like that versus a, a 8 that basically looks just as good in everything and just as good in every department, but she really likes me. Why would I pick the 10? Well, because I I like the 10 more. Remember, the, the um, perception of, the perception of, 
who somebody is as a 10 or whatever is all perception. It's not reality anyway. But I'm just saying, hypothetically saying, like if I felt this one was a 10 and then I feel this was an 8, but the 8 liked me way better and treats me way better, I'm going after that. Because honestly, it, it could be all in my mind. I could be just thinking she's an 8 and she's a 10, but in reality, that 10 might be really a 2. Because looks ain't just, looks ain't everything when it comes to the scale of a woman, right? And then that 8, you know, I, I get to know her, get close to her, now I think she's a 10. A lot of that going on too, people deceiving themselves. All fat, all, all judging the book by the cover. Like, uh, he's, he doesn't fit my, my, my criteria, so he probably, uh, he's a 2. But in reality, he might be a 10. You just, your perception of not even giving somebody the slightest chance, you know what I mean? So yeah, man, you gonna struggle. It's not your fault. It's only your fault to the, to the extent that you don't understand that who you're presenting yourself to is gonna determine if you struggle with women or men. I don't give a fuck who you are. Y'all keep thinking that it's all about who you are. Nah, it's really not. Because why is it not about it? It's about who you, okay, here's what they say. They say if you get your money up or blah, 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 you get your money, you get your car, you're going to get more women. Yeah, you're going to get more women, but that don't mean they really like you or you. So I guess if you're a man just trying to get pussy, yeah, it's going to it's gonna work for you. But then again, there's consequences too. So good luck with that, right? But if you let's say you're a woman trying to find a guy, right? You got, you look good and this and that. Basically, translation, just because a woman look good don't mean a man not going to cheat or do her wrong or even want her at that. Even want her like that. Don't mean nothing. Because most of, most of um, the value of a woman in the man's eyes is weighed off of what she looked like. It shouldn't be that way. A smart man don't think that way, by the way. But we all know that most men ain't smart when it comes to picking women, right? So... It's based off her looks. However, just because a woman look good don't mean that she she automatically just want to find love. What if, what if she don't like the guys that like her, too? That's another thing. And then again, what if the guys that she like don't... Yeah, what if the guys she like don't like her? Or she don't like them? Just because you're a good woman or man don't mean nothing. You got to be careful about who you give that good woman... Or man too. Because if you give it to the wrong person, well you're basically just as good as nothing basically. Your worth is basically nothing because you're putting your work, you're presenting your work to a woman or man in hopes of making them happy and them making you happy. But if they don't see it that way, then you just put your work in the nothing. It's kinda like the stock market or something or an investment. You know, you got a million dollars. Yeah, a million dollars is a million dollars. But if you put it in the wrong shit, it's not a million dollars anymore, is it? But if you put it in the right shit, that shit can enhance, right? So understand, man, especially if you're a woman, just because you like a man a lot don't mean you should pick him over the other guy. Because a lot of times, if you actually get to know the guy that you don't like quite as much, but you like him, you know what I mean? It's not like just can't be what you don't feel like you settling but you just feel like this other guy better a lot of times that other guy that you still like is actually better and you should go with that so-called what you call a seven or eight you know what i mean because a lot of times that seven or eight you're gonna get close to that dude and he's gonna be a 10 and then a lot of times that 10 that you think's a 10 you're gonna get close to him you gonna even he might be a fucking two by the time you're done fucking with dude so stop doing that. Stop uh, going off just your imprint alone. Look at shit that matters to people. But the topic is why would you struggle, which all plays in the same thing. You're going to struggle with women or men if they're not if they not what you like or if they're not what, if you not what they like, you're going to struggle. And remember, they can like you but like somebody else. A woman can look at my face and say he's a handsome guy. But maybe she likes the blonde hair, blue eye guy. See, I'm still handsome to her, but guess what? She like my hair blue eye guy, right? Right? Blonde hair blue eye guy gonna take her. 
yeah, does that mean I'm ugly or I'm broke or or because yeah does that mean I'm ugly or broke or something like that and if I fixed it that all of a sudden that woman gonna like me no she's not gonna like me because she just I'm just not her preference period period so you can grow 8,000 feet tall have billions of dollars uh, what else they be trying to say all the shit that we say to make you a high value man you can have all that if you put that shit in the wrong woman you really you really fucking up basically because you're going to get robbed you're going to get divorced right that's number one number two if she don't really like you like that you're going to get cheated on you know what i'm saying same thing vice versa with the women watching same thing you gotta make sure the motherfuckers like you man or struggle that's all i gotta say man i don't think there's no other way i can put this shit there's really no other way to put this shit, man. Other than the fact that you will get more. Put it like this. A woman, let's say a woman's 300 pounds. She lose weight. She's going to get more men. But that don't mean, that still don't mean that it's going to make those men want her for her. Really, like really want her. It, you, it does help. It does help to improve yourself, to be more attractive and all that. But still, there's levels. Because let's say I do get in shape, or let's say a 300 pound woman did get in shape, right? You think she's the only woman now that's in shape? Just wonder for because everybody say if you self improve, by default you get more women than men. Well, guess what? You're not the only one self improving. You just you just put yourself on another level. But there's levels to this shit. So in that level, there's still competition. Every level, there's competition. Don't give a fuck if you're a billionaire. There's competition. You're never going to be the only one when it comes to competition. So you got to pick the right person. You got to pick somebody who really fuck with you or you're going to struggle. All my guys out there that say, uh, get the nice car. Well, you're going to struggle with women. If you try to deal with women that don't really like you like that, you're going to struggle because there's other guys that got nice cars like you that she do like. Right or wrong. Every level you get to, if they don't like you like, they don't matter. That's what I'm saying. It don't matter if you're a bum or not. If, if, if y'all are weighing you getting women off of, you know, height and all this other shit, then you already lost. Because you don't even want a woman to like you for a shit that don't, that don't really matter. You want a woman to like you for shit that matter because, and for who you really are because it can't be duplicated. She can't find another you. She can she can replace you, but she can't find another you. Man, how the fuck are they open? And why are they open? Damn. Man, I'm about to get off here, y'all. Y'all have a good Friday, man. Just know that uh, just know this. If they're the right woman or man, you're not gonna struggle. If you gotta struggle, fight other women off and all that crazy ass shit, you know what time it is. You gotta struggle to try to get them to talk to you and all that, you know what time it is. Just accept it and move on, man. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. But um, I'm watching the scale, that's why I kind of like my brain kind of off right now. Gotta be careful with them. But I just want, the main thing I want, the main reason why I made this video is because people think that it's them that's going to determine if a guy or a girl likes them or not. And really, in reality, it's really not. It's really not. And you can say self-improvement, you can say I look good, I'm fine and all that, but there's other people who are the same. There's other people who had that. The only thing that other people don't have that you have is you, your soul, your spirit, your personality. That's the only thing. But all this other shit, height, money, sex, all that, everybody got that shit. So that's the last thing you want to do to, to attract a person. Of course you want to have a person that, that is well off and has money and ain't ugly and all that shit. But what I'm trying to tell y'all is you primarily want them to like you for you, your soul. And what I'm trying to tell y'all is those things alone ain't going to cut it. Those things alone ain't gonna stop you from struggling with a woman or man. With even if you're in a relationship, like some of y'all married or something, 
and you wonder why you struggle. A lot of times, the person you married, you know, a lot of times you wasn't their their real choice, man. Or they just don't, they not like you no more. They don't feel you like that no more. So you're going to struggle. And ain't nothing you can do about it. No matter how good you treat them and try to fix it and say you love them, that don't matter. All this good girl, I'm a good woman, I'm a good man, shit, that don't matter. It only matters, it matters to the extent that if you pick the right person, you make them happy because you're a good woman or man. And, and they're blessed to have you. But... On the end, on 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 the um, on the topic of it matters that women are going, women or men are going to find you attractive and desire you because you're a good woman or man. You fell and bumped your head because you can clearly see that bad women and men clearly get women and men all day long, based off of attraction alone. See, it's a thin ass line with this um, good woman, good man shit and. You know, being being a high value woman or man, and um, who likes you and who don't like you—it's a thin ass line. Yes, you want to be a good woman and or a good man, and yes, you want to be a high value woman and a high value man. But that still don't determine if some if you're gonna struggle with a woman or man or not. Basically, it don't determine that. The only thing that determines that is your choice in the right one or the wrong one. That's going to determine if you struggle or not with a woman or man. All oh, this, oh, and that's another thing. She's, she sees the alpha and sees the beta. Or, or he sees her as white and sees her as just fuck. A man, don't ever let a man determine whether you white material or just fuck material. Don't ever let a woman that way. Let me say that again. Don't ever let a man tell you whether you white material or just fuck material. And don't ever let these women tell you whether you alpha or, or beta or not. Look at the definition of alpha and beta. Look at the definition of wife and fuckable and become that and then present that to the right person. Because you could be a wife material woman and men still out here just fucking you like you're nothing. Because you're not a wife to that guy. You understand? It does not matter. You could be the best woman ever created. But if you're trying to like the wrong guy, it don't matter. That's why I'm making this video, because a lot of women, they don't grasp this. I'm a great woman, I don't get it. They like the hoes, and they're going to keep liking the hoes, because those guys are probably hoes. And even if those guys aren't hoes, they just don't like you. They like hoes, which probably means they're a hoe, but you get the point. You get the point, man. Stop this. Stop all this shit about, you know, you're going to do some magic makeup makeover and women are just going to drop down for you. The same women that didn't like you then, and it's another thing, the same women that didn't like you then really don't like you now if you blew up or something. They just acting like they like you. If they didn't like you then, they don't like you now. If he didn't like you when you're 300 pounds, he really don't like you now. How? Explain. If I didn't like her when she was 300 pounds, she lost weight and got a good job. Now I like her. What changed? Besides her weight and her income. So I like her weight. I like the, uh, her body and her income, which is not really her. If I really liked her, I'd have liked her when she's 300 pounds. So the women would have liked you when you was broke and all that shit, right? You still 5'5". Five, five. Now, you now you're a millionaire. Now they like you. But they ain't like you then because you was 5'5". Five, five. Make it make sense. Basically, y'all trying to impress and, 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 and get validation and and loved by the wrong motherfuckers. You self-improve for yourself or your family, you know what I mean? Not not to attract women or men. Because the ones that are really attracted to you, it don't matter whether you you um they like you at your worst, man. They like you at your best as well, of course, but they like you at your worst. So the self-improvement shit shouldn't be to get a woman. Think about it. Think long and hard about what I just said. If the right woman likes me at my worst in a cardboard box, motherfucker, right? Under a bridge, she's still there. She still loves me. Why do I need to self-improve for the woman to get a woman? Think. You self-improve for you and for your family to be a provider for the right woman, not to attract a woman. The, the woman that's already attracted to you is already going to be attracted to you. 
at your worst. The right woman, should I say. Yeah, you're going to attract more women if you come out that cardboard box and get this and that. Yeah, but they not, are they really the ones that really like you for you? LeBron James attracts more women now than he did before he blew up. But he's still with his wife because that's the one that was there from jump. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, people. If you're a woman watching, just understand that most men like you because of looks or sex. And that's the wrong reason to like you. So stop trying to present that. That's, I get it. You want to have sex and I get it. You want to look beautiful. But make sure when you're dealing with a man, make sure that's not the only reason or the only reasons he likes you. Because that shit, he can like the next woman for those same reasons. Make sure he likes you for reasons that you, wait, I don't think other women kind of have, not too many women have this kind of quality that I got. You know, I, I do this, I cook, or whatever. You get what I'm saying? Shit like that. Y'all doing it wrong. Y'all doing it wrong. Any woman could doll up and, and a man want to fuck. I'm just being honest with you. Especially if you look good. That's a given. Every woman that look real good, that's the last thing she should be trying to impress a man with is her look. But we live in a world where, you know, a lot of people who have looks like that, they use it to their advantage. They they evil. They, they, they do evil with it. I don't want to call it by evil, but they do evil with their looks. So they not even looking for a man any fucking way. They just looking for it to get over on the men. And you got men doing this shit too. But a lot of times with them, it's money. They use the money to get over on the women. But if you're a woman watching, man, you want to lose some weight or something, do that shit for you. Don't do that for uh, men. Do that shit for you. Now, if you got a man and shit, you want to look good, that's different. You already got a man, a blah, blah, blah. That's different. But for the most part, do that shit for you, man, because that's not... That's not, um, it is, it's going to attract more men, but is it going to attract men for who you really are? Or is it just because they want to fuck now? Think about it. I mean, if y'all want to keep playing the game and keep bumping your head and shit, go ahead. It's going to keep hurting though. It's going to, I'd rather just bump my hair. I'd rather just be... Selective with who I fuck with and bump my head less than to just bump my head all over the fucking place. You know what I'm saying? Every week I'm bumping my head. I got a new boyfriend bumping my head. Next week, another boyfriend bump my head again. That's crazy. That's crazy. It could all be avoided by slowing the fuck down and being honest with yourself about who likes you and who really don't. That's the key. That's the key that nobody can handle. Who likes me and who don't? I don't give a fuck who don't like me. I'm only interested in who likes me you don't like me, I don't like you. I don't give a fuck if you was the best woman I've ever seen in my fucking life. If you don't like me, I don't like you. And I'm going to be honest with myself about it. I ain't going to be like, well, maybe she likes me, but she just doesn't reply back for three, four weeks. But maybe there's a chance I'm not going to do that because I know that deep down, I know that other competition, other men, I know she's not doing that to the man she really likes. She's not doing that. The same thing with y'all women, man. You know he not doing that to a guy he, or a woman he really like. He, you think he giving a woman he really like headaches? I don't think so. I find that very hard to believe. Because he sees her as wife. So back to that beta alpha shit. You could be an alpha. You could be a legitimate, real, solid alpha. And every woman in the world can say you're beta. Facts. Every woman. Or you could be beta. Beta as fuck. And every woman in the world, oh man, he, he's alpha. Look how he, because you might know how to try to present yourself like you alpha, but you're really not. And you could, yeah, they're going to find out in the end. But the point is that that woman still might see, and she still might see you as alpha, even if she know you beta. Just because she like you that much, right? But that don't mean you alpha though, right? So are you trying to really be alpha males or are you trying to fake being the alpha male? And most importantly, 
Are you doing it for women? Or are you doing it for yourself? You want to be alpha for yourself, your family, your, your kids, or are you doing it to attract women? Because you really ain't got to do nothing, nothing to attract women who are really attracted to you. That other attraction is more like a, um, more like a um, fake attraction. Like you get a nice car. Now women are attracted to you. It's not. It's not real. It's not authentic. The ones that seen you walking and was trying to fuck with you on that bus stop. That's authentic attraction. The one that seen me dressed up in a dirty ass work shirt and say I'm handsome. That's authentic attraction. Now, of course, they might see you, but like, put two and two together, like, he probably make good money. So, that, maybe, let's just say she see me dressed up dirty as fuck. And still said I was handsome. That's authentic attraction. Understand the difference. But if she see you in all Louis down and shit, and you handsome, yeah, she, it might be authentic, but there's a good chance it's more of what you got on and all that shit. Let's see if that woman still think you're attractive with no haircut and all that shit. The key to finding somebody who really lo love you is the ones that will still like you at your worst. Not the one, everybody like you at your best. You winning, everybody, you popping bottles, you got you got the blunts and all that, everybody love you then. What about when the lights go down and you ain't got shit left and there ain't, ain't no money in the pocket? Like Master P said, there they go, there they go, when your money get low. Everybody loves you when you're winning, though. Is that the type of women you want to attract, or men? You want to attract the ones that only want to fuck with you when you up? I don't. I want the one that's going to be there thick and thin, because that's how I am. Right? That's how I am. What if, what if I lose a job for a while or something? I want the woman that's still going to be there. Not the one that's, oh, I'm going to the next. That's what that so-called high-value male attraction get a lot of y'all. You know what I mean? You, you, you're presenting a product to the woman. And, and women who choose men based off of that bullshit, they're going to be gone. I'm not, and don't get, and it's a thin-ass line because even the authentic women, do they don't want a broke man. They don't want an ugly man and all that other shit. But they still like you for you. You know what I mean? They like you at your worst. It's not really that they like you because you got money. It's because they they want to they want stability. It's not really that they like you because of your looks. They just they attracted to you. They don't want nobody ugly. You see what I'm saying? And the list goes on and on and on. You know, like a, a like some people say, if a woman says she don't want a broke man, that means she's a gold digger. Not necessarily. She just don't want. Maybe she don't want a man taking her money. You see what I'm saying? It's a thin ass line, man. Just like a man might say. I don't want a sexless relationship. That could be taken as all oh, he care about is sex. But really, he might want more from a woman than sex. He just don't want a sexless relationship. You see what I'm saying? He's not just in a relationship just for the sex. But it's a part of it. All this shit's a part of it. All this shit plays a part. Like money and looks and all that shit. But everybody else has that shit too. That's why it can't be the primary reason why you fuck with somebody and why somebody fuck with you. If so, that shit gonna die the fuck down and on to the next. They gonna be on to the next or you gonna be on to the next. It's not gonna last. That infatuation will die. But if it's because y'all authentically fuck with each other for y'all, at y'all worst, you still gonna feel like butterflies, whatever fuck. You, you get what I'm saying? You still gonna feel electricity. And most importantly, they're not gonna play you. They don't even want nobody else. They want you. So that's it, man. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good day, of course. Uh, just remember, man. It's not you. It's not always you. Sometimes it is us. We need to look in the mirror and fix shit. But for the most part, like, if you're trying to present yourself to somebody and they're not reciprocating, it's just that they don't see you like that, and that's fine. But that don't mean that, that um, you're not good enough. You're just not good enough for them. But that don't mean you're really not good enough for them. They might not be good enough for you. It means as the perception, it's not good enough. Not necessarily you're not good enough in reality. Just the perception. Again, I could think a woman's a 10. The next guy could think she's a 5. You know what I mean? And we're not just talking about looks. We're talking about everything, right? 
Or I could, or I might, a woman could think I'm handsome, but I'm just not her type. She she like blonde hair, blue eyes, guys. It, I mean, it is what it is. A lot of y'all think because somebody don't like you that or don't want you that that means something wrong with you, and that's not the case. But when it comes to a woman, the problem is a man will still fuck you if he don't really like you like that, and then the women get caught up in that web. You know what I mean? Because she liked the guy a lot. And that's what women got to be very careful. Men too, but especially women. Because again, he could like you, but you're not the one he really wants. Or he might not even want a relationship. So you got to be careful as fuck. Y'all stay up.